Okay, I'm just going to do a short-ish video on the new camper trailer that I've built. This replaces the rear setup in my Holden Rodeo that I had. I've decided to go to the trailer setup because I wanted something I didn't carry around all the time with me. I could just put it in the shed when, and only use it when needed. Um, I had to do it light because um, I wanted to tow it behind my Hyundai. So it's just a standard trailer and on the top you can see that I've put a June rooftop tent and the King's awning on the side. In the middle is a 160 watt solar panel charging my dual battery, oh my, not my dual battery but my deep cycle lithium battery and on the left hand side you can see that I've got my bike rack where I put my mountain bike on so I can go camping when I go mountain biking um, it's been a, a, it is a simple setup I've decided to keep it as simple as possible less things to go wrong so any feature you see at the moment um, I will talk about that when I get um, the setup started as you can see now I've got the frame that was over the top of the rooftop tent up and you can see that it now puts the awning on the side and um, I will set that up and fold that out soon um, yeah the solar panel doesn't work but uh, I haven't got a lot of drag on it anyway so it um, charges enough when it's down so I'll stop I'll pause it here and I'll get the rest of it set up and then I'll finish the video off now in the back um, as you can see it's pretty tightly fitted but it, it gets everything in there so on the side over here I have an inverter now it's probably a bit complex to take with but I need an inverter to charge my e-bike because um, that's what I ride I've also got on the side here you can see I've got a switch for my lights and I've got two USB chargers so that that'll charge enough for me I've also got um, my water tank uh, in the middle there and then I just put a hose out to here which I'll show you later on and um, I just drain off into a thing I didn't put a pressure pump in this one because um, just another thing to go wrong which what happened in my ute setup in the middle there I've got just bits and pieces a drill for putting in pegs also a drill to wind down my rear leg on the side over here I've got my dishwashing bowls are in here and I've got my knives and forks and everything up there so this slides out onto a um, on rails. Over this side, you can see I've got a King's slide-out drawer. In there, I've got cups, spices, tea, Milo, um, wipes, and everything underneath in there. So that one there, actually lift that out, and it comes out like that, and you just lift like that. So you put that one back in. There we go. In the middle there, in that one is my tucker box. And at the back, I've got my pots and pans. So this slides out, that's as far as it goes. So to get the pots and pans out, I just do that. And then I pull that forward, and there we go. So that's on rollers, so it just works fine. So we just push that back. Put that back in there. Slides back in. In the middle of the uh, system there is my 20 amp solar controller, which controls the solar panel and over there I've got a fuse panel but I only got three things going off it on top I've got a full small fold-out step shovel axe and a hammer um, got a stove here running on my gas bottle that all slides out there's two 15 litre containers which is enough water for me because I only camp most overnights um, and the occasional three or four day one that's my shower mat which I stand on the shower in so I've got two boxes there uh, with bits and pieces, sleeping bag liner, my crocs, fold out table and over on the side is the pot belly stove. So, and um, on the front here you might be wondering what that is, well that's the pressure vent snorkel so it's just a snorkel off a four wheel drive, put a bit of PVC pipe on and um, it actually comes into the middle there behind that box and it pressurizes the back of it so that I don't get any dust in it. 
So now what I'm going to do is pause it again and I'll finish the rest of the setup uh, and then I'll uh, talk about it from there. Okay, as you can see now it's set up. So the awning is out here. Um, that awning is, um, I've done a review on that. Um, hopefully I can set a link up for that as well and I can also set up a link for my old setup as well on the ute so if you want to do that. I've done a review on this awning, so I took this off the old ute and mounted it on this one, so it came up nicely, really good. So as you can see, the tent, I can still fold that up in its upright position, and I can still access everything in the trailer. So all you've got to do is come over here and just pull it down like that. And there's my tent set up there. That has got to be one of the best things I've bought for this trailer. It's so quick and simple to set up. You just undo the cover. It's about 10 buckles. Um, and then you just pull the strap off one end and it just pops up automatically. I can leave my sleeping bag in there, pillow, whatever you want. It's all in there. So, yeah. Um, that was the um, other bit I was supposed to show you after I finished. So that slides out. So um, what I can do then is um, I'll show you once I've set that up as well. Um, the stove might be a little bit close to it, but um, it, it works fine. I'll just pause it there and I'll finish off the setup and uh, finish, the, finish the video off as well. And now you can see my stove set up, little two burner. It's best to have the tent upright when you're using it, it just gets it away from the heat you can use the front one there if you want to but I just put the tent up nothing falls out as you can see there's my washing up bowl and also my drying rack on the side there so I wash the dishes put them in there and leave them and they dry off no worries at all the other thing one other thing I forgot to mention is I put in a 120 amp hour lithium battery the reason I did that um, is because uh, it's just too much weight for me to move around because this battery I want to be able to take in and out of the trailer and place this in my caravan so that I can run my fridge in my caravan off it because I don't have a um, uh, I've only got a 240 volt bridge in, fridge in my caravan the other thing I can do is I only run an esky when I'm out here overnight because there's no point running the fridge for all that time but if I ever wanted to go away for longer, what I've done is I've run this cable out here and I've got a um, Anderson plug here. So that just unplugs like that. What I do with that is I just plug that into the um, cord that's in my car permanently. And then I plug that into my fridge inside the car and I run my fridge inside the car off the battery inside my trailer so um yeah that that's the way i figured out that but anyway that's the setup hope you enjoy it so feel free to ask any questions and i'll answer them um and um until next time bye